This was a guy who used to be very active. He used to golf almost every day. He would go to his club and play cards with his friends. He was active with so many of his friends and had a great social life. What is pulmonary fibrosis? Pulmonary fibrosis, or PF, is the common term used to describe a large family of diseases that cause inflammation and scarring in the lungs. The medical term is interstitial lung disease, or ILD. I first learned about PF through work. I'm a pharmacist by training. I work in the pharmaceutical industry in drug development and a group of managers that were reporting to me started managing these trials with a new product for pulmonary fibrosis. Fast forward a few years, my father-in-law was telling me about this new medication that he was being prescribed and it sounded very familiar. So I said, do you have pulmonary fibrosis? And he said, yeah. He had a lifetime of playing tennis and of being active. And all of a sudden it was very difficult to watch him lose more and more of his mobility and really suffer with this terrible disease, suffer with just activities of daily living and getting around the house. He had a really difficult time losing parts of his life. He was somebody who was tethered to his oxygen concentrator all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which meant that permanently he had this long clear tube that snaked through his house and up and down the stairs that followed him around. The people that have tried the Pucker Up Challenge this year, hopefully you have a sense of what a sense of panic uh, that can bring, not being able to get enough oxygen. If you're prescribed oxygen, you pretty much need oxygen right away. When you can't breathe, uh, most of your body is working to keep yourself alive. So your brain function feels like it's falling off because you can't think properly and you don't have clear thoughts because you're working so hard to breathe. A survey we did across Canada revealed that 50% of patients waited a week or more before they got their first oxygen delivered to them. And we find that to be just an unacceptable delay. So we're doing what we can to advocate to bring all of the different health systems across Canada that provide oxygen up to a minimal standard to be able to provide oxygen in a timely way to patients when it's ordered. My dad was really lucky that my husband Todd had a medical background that he could talk to my dad about, about the medication and about how things worked and how things don't work. And I know my dad got a great sense of, of relief with that. And he was also very, very appreciative. <laughs>